Working for Kaio Fishing, Inc., a pilot named Shoichi Sukioka guides a fishing trawler towards a school of Benito. Koji Kobayashi, another pilot, faces engine troubles and makes an emergency landing on Iwato Island. Sukioka is sent to rescue Kobayashi, but they both encounter two giant dinosaur-like creatures locked in battle, Godzilla and a new quadruped monster. The pilots escape as the monsters tumble into the sea. Sukioka and Kobayashi go to Osaka to help drive. Yamane and the authorities investigate the encounter. The new monster is identified as an Ankylosaurus and is named Anguirus. Doctor. Yamane shows the authorities footage of the first Godzilla attack and notes that it was killed by the oxygen destroyer, but its inventor died, and that there are no proven countermeasures left against Godzilla. Doctor. Yamane suggests issuing a blackout and using drop flares to lure Godzilla away due to the first Godzilla being sensitive to light. Sukioka's girlfriend, Haidami, expresses her concern for Osaka to him, and he reveals that he thought about her when he thought he might die on Iwato Island. They watch as the Japan Air Self-Defense Force JASDF take off to find Godzilla, but scientists note that it may prove difficult due to the possibility of Godzilla hiding in caves within the seabed. Later, Godzilla is spotted heading for the key channel between Shikoku and Wakayama Prefecture. Yamaji, Sukioka's boss and Haidami's father, notes that if Godzilla wreaks havoc in those waters, their fishing company will lose valuable fishing ground and strike a blow at production. Later, an alert is issued for the Osaka region as Godzilla changes course for Osaka Bay. The Japan Self-Defense Forces, JSDF, cut off the lights in the city and lure Godzilla with flares. Sukioka leaves Haidami at her home for safety and leaves with Kobayashi to meet Yamaji at his cannery. Convicts escape from their transport and lead police on a chase that ends with a few convicts crashing into an oil refinery, triggering an explosion, while other convicts escape into Osaka. The explosion lures Godzilla back to Osaka, forcing the JSDF to attack it. Attracted by the flares, Anguirus emerges and engages Godzilla. The monsters battle throughout the city, destroying Yamaji's cannery and killing the convicts in the process. Godzilla kills Anguirus and returns to the sea after burning the body with its atomic breath. In the aftermath, Yamaji moves operations to Hokkaido to make full use of the fisheries and cannery, and also sends Kobayashi to guide trawlers. During a company dinner, Sukioka reunites with Tajima, a friend from college, and the war. Kobayashi hints to Haidami that he's fallen in love with a certain woman. The dinner is interrupted by news that a ship was sunk by Godzilla. The following morning, Sukioka helps the JASDF search for Godzilla and tracks its location on Kamiko Island. Kobayashi departs to aid Sukioka but leaves his notebook behind. Haidami peeks at the notebook and discovers a picture of her inside. Kobayashi attempts to stop Godzilla from escaping but is struck by Godzilla's atomic breath and crashes into the mountaintop, killing him. The crash creates a small avalanche that engulfs Godzilla, inspiring the JASDF to bury it with a bigger avalanche. Because they lack firepower, the JASDF return to base to reload missiles and Tajima reluctantly accepts Sukioka's request to take him. The JSDF creates a wall of fire to block Godzilla's escape, while the JASDF triggers avalanches by blasting the mountaintops. Godzilla exhales one last atomic breath before being completely buried by the last avalanche triggered by Sukioka. Relieved, Sukioka lets Kobayashi's spirit know that they have finally defeated Godzilla.